What exactly is a broad strike coin? A broad strike occurs when a coin fails to be properly ejected from the collar during the striking process. This results in a coin with an expanded or broad shape, as it wasn't constrained by the collar. The lack of proper centering gives these coins a unique and sometimes dramatic appearance. How does it happen? To understand how broad strikes happen, let's take a quick look at the minting process. When the coin doesn't eject properly, it expands beyond its intended size, resulting in the distinctive broad strike error. Rarity and value. Now, let's get to the good stuff. Are broad strike coins rare, and do they hold significant value? The answer is a resounding yes. Due to their unique nature and scarcity, broad strike coins are highly sought after by collectors. The more pronounced the error, the higher the potential value. It's the perfect blend of rarity and numismatic appeal. Super valuable specimens. This is 1943 D. Lincoln sent Broadstruck on a silver Australian six pence planchet. Graded as AU53 by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, in 1943, the Denver Mint struck 8 million sixpence for Australia with a diameter of 19 millimeters, essentially identical to a Lincoln cent. The US Mint was striking many foreign issues during the international emergency of World War II, and inevitably a few planchets intended for foreign coins were struck by US coin dies. This broadstruck specimen was sold for $4,560. 1921 Broadstruck Peace Dollar. Graded as AU58 by NGC. The present coin is an attractive example of this error, with full mint luster and a sharp strike. This error is extremely rare, and is avidly pursued by error specialists. It was sold for $7,762.50. 1999 D. Roosevelt Dime Broadstruck on a Scent Planchet. Graded as MS64 Brown by PCGS. A dramatic error that accentuates the fact that the planchet was incorrect by the broadstruck features. The devices are generally sharp although some of the peripheral lettering displays the distortions caused by the expansion of the planchet during the strike. Traces of zinc alloy are seen in a few places on the obverse and reverse. It was sold for $7,500. As we conclude today's episode on broad strike coins, I hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for these fascinating mint errors. If you've ever come across a broad strike or any other error coins, share your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more error coins worth money content, and until next time, happy hunting in the world of numismatics.